Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another little box set review and this time it's metal. It's real heavy metal and the heavy metal that I love probably the most. Um, and this is by a band called Sinner. And before you think that I'm an absolute total expert in this band, I'm not. It's a band that passed me by for whatever reason. I think I was too busy focused on Accept and the Scorpions when it came for bands from Germany because this is where they're from. And I missed out on them. And it was actually my eldest son, Dan, who actually said, Dad, have you heard of this band called Sinner? They were around when you were listening to all that stuff and playing in bands and stuff. And I didn't, the name seemed too obvious. But anyway, before I start to waffle on a bit, let's have a look inside this little box, which pulls together the four albums from the Noise Years by Sinner. This is Sinner, Born to Rock, the Noise Years, 1984 to 1987. Clamshell box. And inside, the albums aren't in the right order because I've been playing them consistently. First one is Danger Zone. Um, with the, I imagine this is a different design, design from the vinyl ones, but this is the design they've used for the CDs. And the second one, I think, what was the second one? Touch of Sin. And the pictures of the band on the back. And then the third one, Come Out Fighting. Pictures on the back. And then the fourth one, Dangerous Charm. Picture of the band on the back and the booklet. It's very good actually, it's a great introduction to the band, it tells the story and um, what was going on at the time, uh, Matt Sinner, you know, you know, it's very kind of like, you know, lots of very honest talking here about how he felt about what's going on with the band at the time. And these are great albums. Um, you get a feeling reading the book that he has mixed feelings about them, but I think they're just superb as I'll say in the summary in a moment. Um, it's a great booklet and then of course, you know, Matt went on to be in Primal Fear. And they're still going strong and there's some great records um, to explore, which I've certainly found out since listening to this. And so that is Sinner, Born to Rock, The Noise Years, 1984 to 1987. And there are some bonus tracks on here as well. So that's Sinner, The Noise Years, 1984 to 1987. And as you saw with the, the as I went through the box there, some of the artwork is typical of the time, etc and the imagery etc but they weren't they didn't just come up with a name called sinner because they thought well yeah that sounds rock that sounds a bit metal actually matt sinner that's his name um and I, this is just four albums this band has done tons of other stuff but i haven't heard that yet i can't comment another singer went off to be in um, primal fear as well um but if i just talk about the first one every, every single every single track Every single track on this album just brought a smile to my face. The riffs are, I've heard a lot of riffs and I'm, you know, and I've heard a lot of riffs since 1984, let alone up to 1984. Um, well, I just loved it. I just loved it. It's a bit um, new wave of British heavy metal in places. Great raw production. I think um, Matt himself wasn't, you know, this. I think he's got, you know, mixed feelings about this period for the band, but I love it. I just absolutely every single track is 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 on the money. Um, great riffs, great choruses, great production. Um, you know they are channeling a bit of except in places, but nothing wrong with that. Um, but absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And the next one along, I think, was Touch of Sin, wasn't it? Born to Rock, uh, Emerald Bad Girl, all the kind of songs you, all the titles you'd want to he hear if you're into this kind of music. And this one again is really heavy metal great driving heavy metal it's not it's not the thrash with the double bass drums it's a it's it's the kind of it's the kind of music that i absolutely adored um obviously the americans were influencing the stuff over here i think the us brits were being pushed back as all the stuff from america was flooding in around this time um and of course it was becoming more pop metal but this is like full-on you know as i say the scorpions were becoming more poppy weren't they um but this is this was really good excellent except flavored um rock music however because i put a post up on the the now spinning facebook um community saying i just discovered this band and i played the first two albums and i was really really loving it you know it was kind of like it had all the ingredients to what i want from a from a heavy metal band even now actually so when I put on the third one, it's a bit of a surprise because they'd, they changed the dial. Now, 
the world was changing. Um, and they, even though I was still into this kind of stuff, music was becoming more, more pop metal, more AOR, more sophisticated in a way. It was going in two strands. You know, the thrash metal was building up, but rock music was becoming more melodic, big choruses, bigger hair, and all that kind of stuff. And so the next one along, coming out fighting, goes in that direction, which would be of a surprise. There's even a fantastic cover of Rebel Yell by Billy Idol, which is interesting because quite before Rebel Yell appeared out of my speakers, I was starting to think, they've changed the style here. The guitarist has got a real Steve Stevens kind of element to to his playing coming out, and then Rebel Yell appears. But I can understand they probably looked at um, you know Steve Stevens and where Billy Idol was and thought, we could have some of that. Um, but there's some great songs, absolutely wonderful choruses and absolutely brilliant. So this one is good, but the next one, um, Dangerous Charm, raises the stakes even higher in going in that direction, but is even better. And I think that this one, although it's far removed from just a few years ago with the first album, is a masterpiece. Concrete Jungle, Knife in the Heart, Dangerous Charm, Everyone Needs Somebody to Love, No One Rocks Like You, Tomorrow Doesn't Matter Tonight, Fight the Fight, Back in My Arms, Gypsy, Desperate Heart and Last Dance. Absolutely loved it. Um, so this little box set, um, great essay, um, fantastic. Noise, as I say, it's from all the albums I made on Noise Records. It's Cherry Red also are behind this, um, courtesy, I think, of um, BMG um, and Dissonance Productions. But it's a great in introduction to the band. And I can say that sincerely because it's been a great introduction <laughs> to this band for me. And it's maybe going to want to go off and follow what the members have done and what else came afterwards. But if you're into, you know, heavy metal and hard rock and melodic rock, this goes through all of those emotions and it's really well played the songs are great and they should have been more of a household name or i should have taken the chance as i browsed through those racks in um, virgin records all those years ago and thought i'm going to buy that so thank you very much for watching thank you for being here thank you for subscribing and becoming a patron and joining the youtube channel check out nowspinning.co.uk check out the podcast stay safe keep spinning those discs and i shall see you very, very soon.